My dad, I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I, uh, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I guess. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. <sighs> Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not going to stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. You're right. You're right, I am angry. But don't worry, I won't let my emotions take over. I just want freedom for my people, and I guess I need to decide what price I'm willing to pay for it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you.
What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any by components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. My fault, the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place.
Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me?